Hello folks, Bob Croft from Mercury Racing. Today I'm going to go through a sequence of how to index spark plugs on our new DSi outboard. One of the main things is on our spark plugs is we want the opening of the electrode to face towards the air injector. Basically this is for is for better fuel anonymization. If this is not put in correctly, we're going to have a spark plug following issue. First of all, you can take your spark plug, and not every spark plug will work for every hole. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this one, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a marker, put a black line on it right here, and when you do that black line is, that black line is going to be the index of the opening of the electrode on the spark plug. Illustration in front of you is another way to uh, show you how to index spark plugs on our DSi engine. You can see in the top here, the green uh, specifies the air injector on top here, as well as the green area of where the spark plug should be after it's torqued. The area right here on C, um, that's by hand tightening the spark plug. When you hand tighten the spark plug, if it ends up being in this area with the black line, you're good to go. That spark plug can be, spark plug can be used in that hole. If that, blue, if that black line on the spark, uh, spark plug ends up anywhere between here and here, that's going to be a no-go. What you're going to have to do is remove the spark plug and put it in a different hole and a different side of the head on the, on, the, on the engine or even try in a different engine. If the torque ends up being right here at the black line, probably going to take 25 foot-pounds. 25 foot-pounds will bring that spark plug black line right around here, put it right in the minimum for um, optimum burn. If it's down here, probably going to take 15 foot-pounds. 15 foot-pounds will bring it around around here into the green area. So what we're going to do is take that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a spark plug and put it in the head. Um, keep in mind that every spark plug will not fit every hole. It might, it might fit a different engine or it might sit, uh, fit on the opposite side of the engine, the opposite head. Basically what we do, we're just going to hand tighten it. Okay, and you can see right here, by hand tightening right here, it is not going to work because of the black line here, the opening is here. That black line has got to be a minimum from here to here to work because what we're going to do is we have to, we have to torque it now. So the spark plug will not work. It will probably work in another hole. It can be used on a, on a different, different head on the other side of the engine or even a different engine. Do not throw them away. And you can see right here we got the mark on here. Okay, got that tight. Um, these spark plugs can be torqued between 15 and 25 foot-pounds, all depending on where the black line li lines up on here. So what we want to do when the spark plug is torqued at the end, we want, the, we want this black line of the spark plug to be between this lobe and this lobe, so the opening of it is facing the air injector. Okay, then we're going to do is put the torque wrench on it. I'm going to set mine to 20 foot-pounds right now. Going to bring it up. Okay, right there, I torqued at 20 foot-pounds. You can see right here, that is the ultim optimal area from here to here. It's directly towards the air injector. You can see when I turn this thing around right here, that the opening of the electrode is right over the air injector. It'll be perfect. It'll prevent spark plug following and make the engine run a lot better.